made it to Camp Fortune and uh, it was bizarre um, talking to the camera. I, I pulled over, parked right in the corner of the lot, nobody was here. And I swear, two seconds later, I got two people parked right beside me. Always makes it interesting talking to the camera. I don't know if you fellow YouTubers out there know what, uh, what I'm talking about, but yeah, I'll kind of keep this semi-brief. So we're at Camp Fortune. It's gonna be some gnarly downhill here. A little nervous about that. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple runs just to get used to things. As it says on their website, there's no easy way down here. So we will uh, take it slow and get suited up and I'll see you on the trails. Six in. Yeah. Six All right, drop it into Salamander here at Camp Fortune. All right, supposed to be gnarly. A little nervous. Gonna take it easy. Do probably a couple laps of this Salamander Trail here, just to get warmed up. I haven't done downhill in a long time, like not downhill like this, anyways. Nice berms. Oh. This way. I'm not doing that skinny skinny. Which way do I go here? Um. A bit of a drop there. Could have probably done that. Alright. This is it. I hope this is it. Uh, which way do I go here? All right, definitely want to go this way. This is right. Oh, maybe this isn't right. Shit.
smokes. And this is an easy trail. Alright, so this is Liquor and Smokes, Blue Rated Trail. trail called Sunset, I think. Um, talk about rock slabs. So this is sunset, like I said. It's supposed to be more of an XC trail, but it does have some paddling like here. taking a little break here. I've done about six runs here at Camp Fortune and it is gnarly. It's probably one of the gnarliest places I've ever ridden. You know, maybe that's a bit of my broken collarbone recovery talking and not and not the actual trails, but man, it is tough. <clears throat> I've only pretty much done the one trail salamander. I did a little offshoot of that and it was pretty gnarly too, blue rated. Did a little bit of an XC trail called Sunset that then then I ended up on a black trail Ho Chi Minh and man that was insane. I couldn't even ride it. I had to walk a lot of it. Uh, wow, alright. I'm in over my head here. So that wasn't very confidence inspiring. Um, I maybe want to try the black rated trail here called National, but a uh, little worried about that. And it is hot, hot out. So I'm getting a little tired, but uh, I'm gonna take a bit of a break here, cool down, chill out, get uh, refreshed, have a little snack, and then maybe, just maybe I'll try National. Okay. Try this. This is Q Cup, it'll lead over to National. Um, oh, Alright, well, I think I'm out already. Doesn't even look that bad from here. Yeah.
Yeah. This is national, but that's a gnarly drop there, so I'm gonna go in this way. Oh, shit, that wasn't a drop. anything to be rollable on this trail. Okay, that's rollable though. Most of this seems to have nice roll around. Oh. I should be going this slow. This is humbling. Nice view out here at least. Super hot. A little bit of a humbling day here at Camp Fortune. I feel like there's a lot of stuff here I used to be able to ride and we'll maybe get back to riding, but just not feeling it today. I don't feel the confidence. I think maybe because I'm riding by myself, if I was maybe with somebody else who was uh, showing me the lines or telling me how I should go into something, like how I should break and not break that sort of thing. I might be a little more willing to try some stuff, but flying solo, not so much. So anyways, let's finish up this run here. So I'm set up at the MSM parking lot, or Velo MSM, uh, the bike park here, about 45 minutes north of Camp Fortune where I was today. And man, that place is humbling. Um, thinking about it on the, on the drive up here after riding there today, I swear that it's gotta be close to the toughest place I've ever ridden. There, like their website says, there is no easy way down. Like even their easy trail, which is the blue rated salamander, has some pretty gnarly sections in it that, uh, I mean, got me a little puckered up. So I can imagine um, somebody with no experience or very little experience uh, enjoying Camp Fortune very much. But uh, it was fun though. It was fun pushing, pushing myself and getting back to that kind of riding. I haven't done downhill riding like that since Bromont in the fall of 2020. So it's been a good year and a half, if not longer. Uh, and after breaking my collarbone in early last year, uh, it's been a real struggle switching that confidence switch and getting it back 100%. Uh, I felt like I was going really slow today. Uh, I feel like if I have attacked some of the stuff with a little more speed and authority, it would have been better, but it was just hard to, uh, to get back to that. I'm hoping 
to get back to that. But anyways, it was good and I'm glad I did it. Glad I pushed myself, even tried the black rated trail there, um, but I couldn't ride some of the stuff. Maybe could have in hindsight, but uh, it was pretty gnarly there, especially by myself. Anyways, like I said, I'm set up here at MSM parking lot. I got the van all set up. I'm gonna sleep in there tonight. Uh, it's starting to cool down, got a nice breeze going. Should be a good sleep. And then uh, I'm gonna hit up MSM tomorrow, Mount St. Marie or Velo MSM, whatever they're called. Um, some of the blue rated trails here I think will be fun. Uh, I just have to climb up the mountain. 315 meters of climbing, that's a little intimidating for me. I know that's probably nothing for you guys out west, but for where I'm at, like 100 meters is a lot. So 300, 300 plus meters of climbing, a little intimidating. Hopefully I can get in more than one lap, we'll see. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It's very much appreciated. Uh, welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. Hope you like what you see. Stick around, there's gonna be more. Um, just a guy in my 40s. Uh, trying to get a little bit better, start trying to get my confidence back on the bike after breaking my collarbone last year. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm slowly getting uh, getting back to where I was. So anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. And until next week, which will be the MSM video, keep your feet on the pedals.